Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to also contribute to this motion on sexual harassment. I rise on behalf of the women of Moibane constituency where I come from. Madam Speaker, this age-old uh, practice where women face discriminatory behavior because of their gender should come to an end in Kenya. This sexual harassment business has been an age-old problem to women in all spaces, in places of work, in, places, in, in many spaces, in their marriages, in political spaces, and so on. The society should stop harassing women. And uh, most of the women who are harassed, for example, are at the lower cadre of life where they are trying to fend for their children. Sometimes they are forced to accept because they don't have an option. What is said in Kiswahili, kubali aishe. That's what they normally say, kubali aishe, because they just want to finish with the business so that they can get what they can get, so that they can go back and fend for their children. It is very embarrassing and it is very painful. Madam Speaker, Sam. I want to encourage, sorry, Madam Speaker, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Madam Speaker, I want to encourage our men and women that when they come across such images, they should delete in the social media. They shouldn't allow it to move to the next level because, yes, Thank you, uh, Honorable Mili. It's a crime. And when you forward it to somebody else, you are giving it power. You are empowering the person who originated it. And I want to say this to our fellow men. I think it is, from my culture, it is an abomination to see the, nak the nakedness of, your, of a woman and more so a mother. When you see the nakedness of a mother who is not your wife or your friend or I mean you are supposed to be to get blind <laughs> that's what my culture says so I can say categorically say that those who are uh, uh, those who are proliferating this problem those who are sending transporting these these images from one point to another may they get blind as my sister said and they should never see light again so that they will not be able to pass that information and madam speaker even in political spaces women have suffered the most especially those who have the courage to vie for political seats in kenya they face so, so they face so many forms of discrimination so many bad things are said about them let us, how I wish that if men and women are to compete in any space, let this competition be very fair and let everyone given an opportunity without using terrible words uh, uh, to against women. Madam Speaker, I want to say, the, the, I want to follow up on, the, on what has just been said about, about the, the, the most recent photo about a, a woman, a woman leader in Kenya, that we condemn it with the strongest terms. And it is so bad that even our own fellow women are also talking badly about it. There is nothing, there is no, I mean, morality is an individualistic, it is some, it's an individual thing. It is in your own art. And as it has been said, it is God alone who knows what is good or what is bad can we stop making judgments or passing judgments against our fellow women as if those of us who are making those judgments are very perfect let us not allow our own women colleagues to suffer as we wait and see let us come up all of us and stand up and speak out against these fights so that our society uh, women in our society get 